our buffered reader here is going to go ahead we have our stream reader and then we're going to create a buffered reader off of that stream reader so that's what these two lines are and then we have our writer which is going to be our print writer that's going to send our data out to the server so we're going to have our writer equals new print writer sock which is the socket that's generated up here right here and it's going to get the output stream for it and that's going to be our writer and immediately after it does that we're going to go ahead and announce to the server that we are connected and it's going to go ahead and tell everyone else that too and it's going to update the online users area over here so what we have here is a message and you'll notice that the approach that I took here is that every message that's sent back and forth between the server is really composed of three areas we have a username area then we have a divider and that divider in this case I took a, a little ASCII character which is not going to be a character that most people use to type back and forward and that character is going to be what divides the message into its different portions so we have our username we have a special character we have has connected which is the actual message itself between here then we have another special character which is to divide it again and then we have our third area which is connect which tells it what to do with this data so we're gonna send to the server that the username has connected and that's gonna go ahead and and kick off a few other processes on the server you'll see later um, and we're gonna go ahead and flush the writer which is gonna go ahead and send it out and then we're gonna set that is connected boolean variable to true now because we are connected now and if it didn't work of course then we would have a message that would show up in, in our chat text area that's going to say that it cannot connect try again um, and of course this slash in character is short for return because if you didn't put that in here then what you would effectively have is cannot connect try again and then if you try to connect again then it would just append right at the end of this on the same line cannot connect try again versus if you put that slash in there then it'll go ahead and put it on its own line and so that's really important you'll notice that on all of our messages that we have on our chat text area we always put that slash in so that it puts it on its own line whatever we have here and so we have our username field set editable equals true because remember if we tried it and it didn't work then we're gonna have to set the username field to be editable again so that the person can change their username if they want to because they're not connected all right and of course we're gonna kick off a listener thread after that now I'm gonna dive into that a little bit later now we also have an else if here which is just if we're already connected then all it's gonna do here is just append to our chat text area you are already connected with our slash in alright so it's not gonna do anything else it's just gonna tell you hey you're already connected what are you doing and the person's gonna say oh yeah I'm so I'm such a doofus but alright so that takes care of that I'm gonna go ahead and focus on this listen thread code here if we scroll back up we're gonna see that we have our listen thread that's right here and our thread executes a new incoming reader instance and then it goes ahead and kicks off the incoming reader and the incoming reader is actually up here so we have an inner class which is our incoming reader and the incoming reader uses a string that's called stream we have a string array which is called data and we have a few other strings which are actually the different types of data that we can actually receive from the server remember I showed you that we have our our um, data and it's really going to be divided into three different portions well the last portion tells you what type of data it is and this is the portion where we figure out where or what each type of message is alright so we're gonna have a done string we're gonna have a connect string which is basically whenever a person connects the data type is going to be connect and it's gonna do accordingly and then we have a disconnect which is going to remove the user from the list on our chat area I mean on our online users area over here and then we have just normal chat data which is all it's going to do is just take the message and just go ahead and spit it back out on the chat area so once again very simple stuff here and once we get down into the meat and potatoes of this you're going to see we have another try block and it's basically saying that it's going to go ahead while the stream 
is not equal to null so it's going to go ahead and take this data and say while it's not equal to null while there's no string I mean while there's not no data coming from the server for a lack of a better term then we're going to go ahead and take that data and we're going to split it based upon that special character that I showed you below and so we have our special character and it's going to put that character into the array that we have up here and like I said the the data really has three different portions of it so really we're gonna end up with a three item string array uh, and that's gonna be zero one two remember in computer normally with computers they don't start off on one they start on zero so if it's three items then it's gonna be two it's gonna be the top one so if we look here if number two equals chat alright so if the last item that we receive in the data equals chat then we're just gonna simply take data zero which is the person's username put a colon in and then a space and then just put out their data number one which is going to be the contents of the person's message and then we're also going to put in the slash in remember we know what slash in is that's so that the next thing that comes in is going to be on its own line alright next if it's a connect message remember I told you that we're going to send out a message and if the last portion of data says connect then it's going to kick out something special on the server it also does something special on the client so whenever the type of data that we receive is a is a connect on the back of it then we're going to go ahead we're going to remove everything from the chat text area and then we're going to go ahead and execute our user add method here and it's going to take whatever the whatever was in the first item in the array